Kyo Tango, a Japanese blue zone. That's something I'm going to talk about today, so stick around. Hi, my name is Sachiaki Takamiya. I am the author of the Ikigai Diet and the founder of this diet. Right. Okay, so I have been sharing with you about some of Japanese blue zones. Uh, for example, I made a video called The Seven Longevity Secrets of Nagano, the King of Japanese Blue Zones, or Seven Longevity Secret of Siga, a Japanese Blue Zone. And I also made some videos about comparing Nagano and Okinawa and four commonalities among, you know, Siga, Nagano, and Okinawa, and so on. And also, I made a video about Takayama Village in Nagano Prefecture, which is famous as the village of longevity now. And I found another longevity spot in Japan. This place is becoming very popular now as a blue zone. That is Kyotango in Kyoto Prefecture. <clears throat> okay, so here is the map of Japan, and I'm going to enlarge it. So that's this is Kyoto. This is Lake Bia, by the way, and that's the Shiga Prefecture. I live in uh, Hino Town, uh, which is around here. So Kyoto is very close to where I live, and this is Kyoto, and that's a Kyoto Prefecture, and then Kyotango is this area, this peninsula area. Um, that's uh, where we find many centenarians today. All right, so Kyotango, a Japanese blue zone. So Kyotango is famous for, one, there are three times as many centenarians as the national average. Two, the world longest lived man lived here. Um, Jiroemon Kimura, who lived until 116, lived in Kyotango area. Uh, now, uh, for women, uh, there was a woman from France who lived until the age of 122. So she is the longest lived person in the world, but the longest lived man in the world is Jiroemon Kimura. Yeah. And three, a vascular age of people in Kyotango is 10 years younger than that of the national average. Yeah. So they are younger than the average Japanese people. Now, because of all those findings, there's a research going on at the moment called Kyotango Longevity Cohort Research. And that is, uh, they investigate 1,000 people who are over 65 in the area between 2017 and 2032. And they check 2,000 factors such as diet, lifestyle, exercise, and so on. So when the research is completed, they'll have tons of data about the secret of longevity. So this is going to be very valuable, right? And one thing they have discovered so far is that they are abundant in uh, what is called butyrate producing bacteria in their gut. Apparently this bacteria is in the spotlight uh, for uh, you know, protecting us from infectious diseases. So it is crucial at the moment. Uh, but generally speaking, uh, it is good for your longevity. And how to increase this bacteria, you need to have a lot of uh, soluble dietary fiber. And people in Kyotango uh, eat a lot of food that contain soluble dietary fiber, such as seaweed and mugi meshi. Mugi meshi means rice with berry. I told you that mugi meshi is common among the long-lived villages in Japan that Dr. Shoji Kondo discovered. 
Okay, so let's talk about the diet of Kyotango. Um, so the unique things about Kyotango is it is on the seafront. So uh, fishing is very common. Therefore, they can get a lot of fish and seaweed. Um, so to sum up their diet, yeah, I can again say magoa yasashi, which is pretty common in all of Japanese blue zones. Now, magoa yasashi means ma, beans, go, nuts and seeds, wa, seaweeds, ya, vegetables, sa, fish, si, mushrooms, uh, e potato groups such as sweet potatoes, right? But what is unique about Kyotango area is that they can get local seaweeds and local fish, yeah? And that is not the case in Nagano, for example, right? Because Nagano doesn't have any sea. Um, therefore, uh, they can practice what is called Shindo Fuji, uh, which is a very vital element in the Japanese natural food movement. It means eating locally and seasonally, yeah? And Kyotango is pretty much a self-sufficient community. Uh, they grow rice, right, they grow vegetables, and they can, get, they can get, get seafood and everything, yeah? So they can access uh, almost all ingredients locally. And that is a strong point of Kyotango area. And also they eat a lot of brown rice, yeah. Unlike most Japanese places uh, where people usually eat white rice, uh, they eat a lot of brown rice, yeah. And brown rice contains a lot of fiber too. How about other factors, other longevity factors? Um, well, they move naturally just like uh, many other centenarians in blue zones. Yeah, they do, the, they do gardening, they uh, walk a lot and so on and so on. In their everyday life, they, they move, they exercise naturally, yeah. And also they have some close friends, you know, the friends that whom you can talk about almost anything, you know, even personal things, you know, having those close friends is crucial uh, for you to have your ikigai. You know, ikigai means the reason for living or you know, kind of purpose of living, but um, having those friends makes you want to live more, yeah? And the last element is gratitude, yeah? Uh, people in Kyotango uh, are thankful uh, about everything. Yeah, they tend to uh, thank uh, things in general, they have a sense of gratitude. Yeah. Okay. So to sum up, uh, they have the four elements which are crucial for living long. And those four elements are common in all Japanese blue zones. Yeah. So healthy diet. Yeah. And they exercise daily and they have ikigai and they have positive mindset. Okay, so that's it for today. Thank you for watching. Again, my name is Sachi Akita Kamiya, the author of the Ikigai Diet. Now, if you want to know more about Magoa Yasashi, Shindo Fuji, and what exactly you need to eat for your longevity and what kind of exercises you need to do and how you can develop a positive mindset and how to find your ikigai and how to live with your ikigai, please read the book. And if you like this video, please give me your thumb up and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you in the next video. Live with your ikigai.